this video we're going to look at Venn diagrams. So if you get two events, A and B, so here is your event A, this circle, and then B is this circle. You can see the wee bit in between here. So if I just draw in the next wee bit, this wee section in between, this is going to be the overlap. So this is A and B. But uh, the whole thing, so from the pair of overlapping circles, uh, this is really called A union B. So don't be careful. This is not a U. It's like a U without the vertical uh, side to it. So it's A union B is A or B or both. We scroll on down. How we say this next thing? This is not an N. This means A intersect B. So this is the intersection of A and B. So there's a bit in the middle here which contains both A and B. So A intersect B means A and B. Okay, if we uh, look at our probability rule for combined events, if you have A union B, the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the intersection, so minus the overlap, so probability of A and B. So probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus the probability of B minus probability of A intersect B. A couple of other useful things. Uh, your probability of A, so this means uh, the whole probability of A, so if I have a look here, let's, this bit on my Venn diagram, the whole circle of A is equal to the probability of A and B, so that's this wee bit, plus the probability of A and not B. So another way we could write this, we could say that this bit is the probability of A only. So it's only A, there is no, no B involved in that one as well. Likewise, your probability of B is equal to the probability of B and A, which is exactly the same, by the way, as the probability of A and B, plus the probability of B and not A. So again, you could say that this bit means the probability of B only. So no overlap, and that's it. And then a couple other ones which confuse people a wee bit. The probability of neither A nor B means one minus the probability of A or B. So neither A nor B is outside, because here I'm not A and I'm not B. So it's one minus the union of A and B. Or probability of that's not A and not B is equal to one minus the probability of A or B, or A union, union B. Okay, we've an example to do here. It says, in a survey, 15% of people said they hadn't bought lottery tickets or premium bonds, 73% had bought lottery tickets, and 49 had bought premium bonds. Find the probability, when chosen at random, that someone has bought a lottery ticket or a premium bond, or a lottery ticket and a premium bond, and C is a lottery ticket only. Okay, for the first part, for part A, what we want to find is a probability that someone has bought a lottery ticket or a premium bond. So that really is our probability of L union B is what we're looking for. Now, if you read the question, it tells you that 15% had not bought any lottery tickets or premium bonds. So I'm going to write 15% as a decimal. So I can say then that means my probability of L union B is equal to 1 minus the probability of not L and not B, which is 1 minus 0.15, which would be just 0.85. Your part B, it asks you to find the probability of a lottery ticket and a premium bond. That's what we're looking to find. So that's your intersection, really. So we'll have to set this one up. A wee bit more work to this one. Uh, what we have got in this question, let's write down what we've got. It's tricky enough. Uh, we've got probability of lottery ticket is 0.73. The probability of a premium bond, so I've said B for that one, is equal to 0.49. And what else do we know? Yep, we've just worked this out over here that the probability of L union B, lottery union bond, is equal to 0.85. So we'll use that formula. So the probability of lottery union bond is equal to the probability of a lottery ticket plus the probability of a bond, premium bond, minus the probability of a lottery ticket and a premium bond. So we're just going to fill in what you know. So that's 0.85 
is equal to my prob probability for lottery ticket, which is 0 0.73, probability of premium bond, which is 0.49, minus my intersection. And that's what we're trying to find, probably of lottery and the bond. So we bring it across the other side, make it positive. You're going to have 0 0.73 plus 0 0.49 minus 0 0.85. And if you do that out, you will get 0 0.37. I'll have to squeeze this last one on here. It asks me to find the probability of lottery only. So probability of lottery only, that's what we're looking for. So that is just going to be equal to, just write that again, probability lottery only is really equal to the whole probability of a lottery ticket uh, minus the probability of the lottery ticket and the premium bond. So we don't want that, we overlap it. So it's just going to be equal to 0.73 minus our lottery ticket and our premium bonds, were, which we have written down somewhere. Where on earth is it? Uh, yep, that's what we just worked out here. It was 0.37, so that's minus 0.37. And when you do that on your calculator, you will get 0.36. So you can see there's my three parts all answered. Last example for this video says, a group of 50 people were asked which of three newspapers they read. The results sh uh, showed that 25 people read The Times, 16 read The Mail, 14 read The Sun, 5 read The Times and The Mail, 4 read The Mail and The Sun, 6 read The Times and The Sun, and 2 people read all three. So first of all, represent on a Venn diagram. This representing on a Venn diagram is a hard bit. Um, well, once we get that done, the rest of it really is very easy. Okay, so draw yourself a square this time, and we'll do our three circles inside. So the T represents the times, M for the male, and S for the sun. And then how we're going to do this is we're going to start with all three and work out. So start with the middle bit, and then work outwards from there. Okay, so the middle, it says two people read all three. So you've got a two in here. It then says, so we've done that bit, then we read back, and it says uh, six people read the times and the sun. So that means this bit in here is the times and the sun, and that number has to add up to six, which means the missing number in here has to be a four. Same idea, read on back, and it says four people read the male and the sun, which means... The male and the sun is going to be this bit, these two numbers. So this missing number in here has to, has to be just two. And then if we read on back, it says five read the times and the male. So the times and the male are these two bits. So two plus something gives you five. So our missing thing obviously is going to be three. And then read on back, it says 14 people. So this is everybody that reads the sun. So that means 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus this mystery number adds up to 14. So a little bit of working out and you will get this missing number is 6. Now on back, you've got 16 people read the mail. So that means 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus the missing number gives you 16. So the missing number for the mail is 9. And the last bit is 25 people read. 25 people read the times. So 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus the missing number gives you 25. The missing number must be 16. And the last thing which a lot of people forget is our 50 people in total. So add up all of these numbers, 16. So the 16 plus the 3 plus the 2 plus the 4 plus the 6 plus that 2 plus that 9. Take it away from 50 and you should get 8. And that is a hard bit of a question done. So really start with all three and then work out from there and you should be able to, should be able to get there. We're now ready to answer the other parts of the questions. So it said, the first part says probably that somebody has read at least one paper. So at least one. So at least one is, the easier way to do it is one minus the probability of none. 
which in this case is 1 minus 8 over 50, because 8 was 8 out of 50 was, uh, 8 people didn't read anything, so it was 8 out of 50 or, or total, which is works out to be 42 out of 50, which works out to be 21 over 25. For part C, it was only one paper, so probability only one. So only one would be this 16, so that's times only. This nine is male only, and this six is the sun only. So you've got, really, you've got 16 plus, what have I just said, 16 plus nine plus six, and that's all out of 50. So when you do that, you get 31 out of 50, which can't cancel down. And our last part of this question asked me for only the times. And you can see once you've done your Venn diagram, really is a very easy question. So only the times is just this 16. So it is just 16 out of 50. Very easy. Just remember to cancel down. That becomes 8 over 25. And that is us done for this video.